one person, only one person at your home starts living in Eastern wisdom. That changes the family, the relationship, because as we continue the journey regularly, it manifests in thought, in speech and action around you in the world. There is a natural inspiration. There is a natural inspiration. You do nothing but the way you think, speak and act. That changes everything. So in the last few sessions, we have been seriously taking up this text and understanding. You are never, you stop being in a hurry. You stop being in a hurry. That changes comes because that is what we have been studying in the last five or six sessions. I'm using the words for you and then. So why after so many practices I'm not able to realize? That was the question asked. So the master says we need to remove the restlessness irregularity in our life, impurity and ignorance to realize the real self. Yeah? Why I don't see the reality? Because I have done so many practices. So the Master gives the simple answer that I intellectually understand that there is now a real self I can understand, but I'm not able to experience caused by the ignorance, impurities, and restlessness. So what happens? I know, I have understood it, you know. So there is no need, uh, there is no need to work on the mind. So that is a wishful thinking. And wishful thinking will never work. Do whatever you want to do. You have to be very clear. No, no, I have understood. Uh, but I am in stress. That's a wishful thinking. So that is what we have understood in the first verse. Because the purity of the mind is required. Do you find, do we find difficulty in realizing the real self? The next verse we have taken a couple of weeks. What it? What is it? It is all about knowledge. So the master says that when the ignorance is removed from the mind, the real self shines. If this fact is true, according to the teaching, then what is the difficulty in grasping the knowledge? Uh, you have to link all these verses together to contemplate and reflect with a focus and commitment. So what is the difficulty in grasping it? So you do you remember, I covered that how the knowledge of the real self is attained. It cannot be attained by the sense organs. Sense organs cannot see the real self. The mind cannot see the real self. So we have understood the two facts. So the knowledge to be received and retained in Eastern wisdom is different from the way the knowledge is received in modern science or through the sense organ or through the mind that I have covered. I believe you still remember. Here comes another point. The master says that why I don't have that intense desire to know the real self. During the class, weekly, uh, two times, three times, I listen to it, I do the practice, but why that intensity is not there? When we are clear that it results into permanent peace, happiness, love and wisdom. Why that intensity is not there? It is because 
the way. It is because the way we want to receive the knowledge, it does not work that way. So what is the conclusion that we have covered perhaps last week? that mind cannot have an intense desire until the impurities are weakened. If the impurities are not weakened, if the sense of restlessness is not removed, the real self will not shine. And then we will take it intellectually. Okay, I am doing it, I know, I understand, but it will not work. And then what happens? Then we get frustrated. We leave the, we leave the practice. One person, my master used to say only one person. I need only one person who reaches to that state because that one person will guide another thousands of the people. But it is not that we are going to guide. It will work naturally. Because you are living into that state. Now, having understood that the impurities are not weakened, reduced, minimized, and that we can understand in our daily life, daily life and activities. Whatever the work that we do, we are doing in restfulness, we are doing in calmness, we are doing with clarity. So now another verse now. So another verse, it says, <clears throat> if somehow, if I translate this verse, if somehow there arises this desire for real self due to the past karma, even though understanding takes place, very clear, the master is very clear, Firm abidance in the real self does not happen without the purification of the mind. I believe you have understood. So I'm going to explain that verse. If somehow, somehow what happens, you hear some teacher, or you say, oh, that guy, you know, told me this is what the mindfulness is. So as long as we are listening, we get fired up, we are excited. That's why I don't use the word excitement and excited. But after some time, that level of excitement drops down. Why it drops down? It drops down only because the mind is impure, the mind is restless. No, really, no, 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 my mind is okay, you know, I, I, I have... So why there is no intensity? So the master has linked these two. Think of it. Think of it. There may be an exceptional case about us. Now see, exceptional case about you. Still we need a purification. This is what the master says. A constant purification is required. If that purification is not done, then we cannot reach to, we cannot realize the real self. I can give you many examples. Take an example of the Buddha. Buddha started the journey at the birth because his father has a kingdom. So some astrologer, while looking at the Buddha at the birth, his name was uh, their friend, that he will become a great monk. So his father has only one son. So he created a sin city in his kingdom so that he should be absorbed completely in all kinds of pleasure of the world and ultimately he, the prince will become the king. You see? But what happened? He went to, he went around the city, he saw a dead man he saw a sick man, he came back, his mind started contemplating. We see the dead people, you know, every day, sick people every day. But we, our mind does not change. 
our mind believes that I will keep on living, you know. This guy is there, you know. So this is because of the impurity. So now you see that Buddha saw it, went into, went back, he got married, he had an intense desire. He had a son at the last time, then he left. And it took him six years to reach to that state. It is now this proves that as long as even we have an intense desire, and we do not pay attention to the purification of the mind. One, restlessness of the mind. Two, and ignorance. To remove the ignorance, three. These are the three factors which blocks our progress. We don't pay our attention. We continue with the wishful thinking and that does not change our life. That's why I have started taking each verse what the Master says. Not what I see. So another explanation is that we have been living in the impurities and accumulated these impressions in the mind and these impressions returns. And when these impressions returns, then we have a same reaction, obsession, pleasure, seeking in the mind and then we do not change. I could make out a couple of people, they, it backfired them because there was no purity of the mind. So the past impressions pulls us backward. Emotional intense desire arises due to an emotional absurd, but that is an emotional dependency. And that emotional dependence causes the impurity of the mind. And then it turns into a wishful thinking. I believe you all are getting it. You might have experienced. And it causes the frustration, it causes the reaction, it causes the failure. And that is why many people drop the journey, saying there is nothing in it. Or they start challenging. You cannot challenge me. You know what you will get by challenging me. They start challenging their mind. Desire for the real self arises through the purity of mind. What it means. I'm using a different words, but what it means. It becomes you are the highest seeker. What it means. Mind never forgets the real self in daily living. You take instant action, prove that you are not worthy of suffering in your life. You live wisely. I have covered those topics. You live wisely. You feel internally the moment any suffering from the world comes, first thing, first level of awareness that you are not worthy of suffering, you restart the thinking and speaking and acting in a way to get rid of that suffering. That indicates the purity of the mind and you are becoming a highest level of a seeker. Well, you can ask a question. What about people who succeed without purif purifying the mind? Not possible. It is not possible. But there are the rare cases, both the purification and the realization go together. And that is what I gave an example of Arvindo. Arvindo went to the master and he said, oh, teach me meditation, first time. So because of his past impression, his mind was already uh, in the calmer state. Only three instructions. They remember, first instruction, close your eyes and sit down. Second instruction, uh, watch these thoughts are coming from outside. 
third instruction before these thought enters into your mind, throw them away. So when we have that intense desire because of the previous birth and because of the past impression or because of the commitment or because of the focus that we have after understanding. So what happened? The purification and the journey went together. So what happened? I did not tell you that what happened after 10-15 hours he kept on sitting and once he returned, after 10 years, he wrote to one of his students that I, after that 10 hours of the practice, I never had any problem of wandering mind, obsessed mind. I could see only in the infinite space all the time. And that helped me to realize the real self. Rare cases. But it is possible. Now see on the other hand that once you purify the mind, you attain the sense of restfulness, it creates a favorable condition in your life, in your personal life, in your professional life, in your social life, in your family life. And that ultimately creates an intense desire to succeed. But remember, these two are connected together. Desire, intense desire, that makes us the highest level of a seeker, comes through the purity of the mind. He's a good doctor and also a criminal. It is, it, it is possible in the modern world, but it is not possible in the journey of the East and West. I have to be a good person to myself. I have to be good to myself. Forget about others. I believe you are getting it. I'm sending a clear man. I have to be good to myself. Can I be good to myself in stress? In restlessness? In wandering mind? Ask yourself. Something happened and I reacted and I, my mind kept on thinking against that person. Is it possible? Not possible in East and West. It is possible in the material world. It is possible. Because once there is a purity of the mind, I am good to myself. 100% goodness is to myself. That will reflect the real self. That is why we are talking of the impurity. We are talking of ignorance. We are talking of restlessness. This is also a possibility, you know, like if the couple joins the session, it is always good. They both can interact together. If the family joins, that is better. Because if you are attending this session, you contemplate and reflect on it. So from the day one, the favorable condition starts in your life. And because we start feeling those favorable conditions, our actions overrides the unfavorable condition in our life. The impact of the impurity of the mind goes on reducing. Buddha's mind overrides the sin city created by his father. Think, think, logical. There are other factors also that we will take up. But one thing is, again, I am repeating, that I understood after many, many years. It took me many years 
to understand that if there is no purity of the mind, a sense of restfulness is not there in the mind, living my personal, professional and social life, nothing can be achieved. Realize that. Contemplate and reflect. There is a tremendous emphasis on this aspect. And we already discussed about the impurity of the mind. <coughs> you know, you while sharing the experiences, you well, you share the experience, desire is anger. Desire is delusion, desire is greed, desire is pride, desire is jealousy and hatred. Can I instantly pick up this point in my life? I am upset desire. I am in anxiety desire. So when your mind contemplates and reflects and connects to it, <clears throat> By contemplation and reflection, the purity enters there and then. You don't wait. First is your contemplation and reflection, and after that you enter, you do the practice. And you will see the life changes. We keep that desire being colored as a jealousy, hatred, pride, delusion, likes and dislikes. That cannot go by any practice. It has to go by listening and learning these principles from a teacher again and again and again and again and reflecting it so that you start, your mind starts thinking the way this teaching goes. And you will see a tremendous change. A tremendous change. <clears throat> From the next session, we will work on what are the different ways. There are the hundred method, conventional methods, and direct method to purify the mind. There are hundreds of conventional methods to purify. I will pick up maybe five or six. The real self dwells in the heart of all beings. That real self is not experienced. Why being veiled by Ignorance, impurities, restlessness. Then what he says, that if the ignorance is removed, the real self will shine in the mind. You need not to do anything. But then there is a difficulty in grasping it. What is that difficulty? The ways. I told you, I have repeated, I think, hundred thousand of times that Eastern wisdom is, a, is an instrument of knowledge. I have to understand it rationally, logically, free from the doubt, and then I have to apply. So what is the difficulty in grasping it? The way I see you, I cannot see the real self. So my mind is so much habituated, impulsively directing me and challenging the teaching that show me. Where is the real self? Not possible. The way of the knowledge that we get in Eastern wisdom is totally different. Take a simple example. <clears throat> I think I gave that example uh, logically that my eyes can see the color in the form, the ears can hear the sound and behind that ear there is a consciousness. Behind the eyes, there is a consciousness. Behind the sense of touch, there is a consciousness. So I want to know that consciousness. But now see, 
my eyes can see the form and the color, but my eyes cannot hear. It becomes so much limited. A limited instrument cannot see the real self. That's why the senses do not work. The mind does not work as long as the impurity is there. Uh, for the sake of understanding, I'm repeating. Then the third verse, I use the word wishful thinking. It will not work. Then the as long as, then the master declares, as long as the impurities are not weakened, such as the minds, you can pick up the desire only. Pick up only one. Desire is anger, desire is greed, desire, etc. It's everything. The moment you are upset, you are not worthy of being upset. It happens because of the impurity of the mind. Good karma is not enough. So that is, that we need to understand. Pick up the word contemplate and reflect. And simple contemplation and reflection in your life before you think about the word you speak and act, will help you purify the mind. Let us start our journey. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <coughs> I've been repeating again and again. Eyes are closed. Position of the body. And... Do you remember? I believe you all remember how fast you are settled or it takes long time to settle. You have a lot of other things that you are working on around you. The mind is already restless. So you check yourself. It's a self-check. Position of the body. Eyes are gently closed and you see that you are settled. The moment I express it and you are the highest level of a seeker. You are still struggling. That struggle comes from the mind and that is what the impurity of the mind. Sometimes you know, these uh, struggle we experience at a very, may you can say the third level. And we don't recognize. And then we start fighting with it. And that fighting continues for a couple of years until we realize. That is why it is very important to learn these teachings from the masters. Struggle simply means we are not settled in the knowledge of the false versus the real self. Then being comfortable. Being comfortable. Comfortable. And you remember we have repeated n number of times looking at the looking at the neck joint. Looking means conscious aware that is the physical aspect so you see that you know the neck joint without the help of the sense organ only because of that reason we close our eyes to indicate that the sense organ cannot help us to recognize and realize the real self And then we experience the sensation pertains to the physical level, comfort at the mental level. That comfort is equal to restfulness. So we should experience. And the steadiness pertains to that. Nothing is steady except the real self. Why? Real self never changes. It is all pervading. It has not to move. It has not to change. So every step you feel you are settled. 
deeply shoulder joints sensation comfort and steadiness do you see the difference i give the same instruction but the mind is absorbed deeper within so where the change has taken place in you you have become the seeker i'm doing the same thing again and again so that is the sign of the progress <clears throat> sometime some of you have said that the moment i start we start the practice and the mind is absorbed deeper within wonderful please understand that that shows the sign of purity move the mind on the entire body as if you see the image of the body in the mind feel the sensation comfort and steadiness there come there will come a time even if the body is moving you can be into that state of comfort and in that state of sensation comfort and steadiness the mind naturally lives within it becomes an observer of the thoughts and feelings sensations past memories whatever the thoughts are coming and going into our mind do you remember i believe you all being carefree watching observing feeling what is happening in the mind what is this this is a witness why we witness because why we witness because impurities do not touch the moment we do not witness the thought takes us somewhere else thought contains the element of desire and we have already understood the desire is you know that so we do not fight with these thoughts we say what we do do you remember we replace it with the mantra sarvesham swastir bhavatu and every mantra has a word phrase sentence first we chant it mentally then we find the meaning even i know the meaning i should repeat in my mind remember this otherwise those unwanted and welcome thoughts will continue to enter into your mind <clears throat> so the word the meaning and the knowledge in it sarvesham swastir bhavatu sarvesham swastir bhavatu sarvesham swastir bhavatu meaning let there be a well being for all. you say in your mind don't only you listen to me but you say in your mind you are going to be your own teacher and knowledge so you sh i should repeat it guys every living species is seeking well being consciously or unconsciously or animally or <coughs> impulsively so the mind drops its journey tracking the world outside for seeking happiness the delusion drops sarvesham shantir bhavatu 
शांतिर्भवतु शांतिर्भवतु let there be peace for all why peace is my essential nature peace is the essential nature of every living being unconsciously habitually impulsively consciously every living species is moving towards me. we can move consciously that is why we are learning east and west we have an edge over the rest of the living species we don't want to use it sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu sarvesham purnam bhavatu let there be a completeness in all do you see the clarity in this phrase desire is seeking something other than me because i am incomplete and what this phrase says let there be a completeness in all it means the sense of completeness is within me in the real self that we don't want to discover <clears throat> that is why the master sarvesham mangalam bhavatu sarvesham mangalam bhavatu sarvesham mangalam let there be auspiciousness for all mangala charan mangalam means i check i see that wholeness that peace is within me manifesting in the mind expressing through the behavior and attitude when all the time where in all locations in all situations what i need to do i have to be a seeker purity of the mind and that is what master has said that we need to purify the mind even if wishful thinking says otherwise and that is why we have been doing this breathing so what you do look inside the forehead in the space continue with the om shanti om shanti you see the space then om shanti again you see the space om shanti that continues the body remains steady <clears throat> second point and now the third point is start breathing from the chest chest expansion and contraction of the chest short and quick breath let us do two and a half minute this week also <coughs> Om Shanti continues. You keep looking with the space, and then Om Shanti. The body remains steady except the movement into the chest, expansion and contraction, and you will discover the rhythmic movement of the breath.
and stop it. Experience the changes <clears throat> in terms of the sensation. A variety of experiences when the mind drops suddenly inside, you may have the colors in the vision. So we just take it casually, okay? Whatever the experiences are coming, let me take it casually. Don't get carried away. And we wait. We keep on doing the Om Shanti. We are still looking deep inside the forehead. That we don't miss. So it will help us that the mind is naturally focused. Now start with the belly breathing. <clears throat> belly breathing, you inhale, the belly goes up or goes out, the belly goes in. We're not learning any hot yoga breathing practices. You know, a lot of people say fire of breath or breath of fire. No. Our goal is the purity of the mind. And we learned that, according to Patanjali, that the breathing practices can help us purify the mind. <coughs> Continue. Two and a half minutes we are doing. We'll go up to three to four minutes. You will see a tremendous change. Don't tell your mind it is not possible. It is possible with you all. Irrespective of the age and other considerations. <laughs> I'm telling about those who are attending regularly. I'm doing it so that you get a feel how the breath what type the noise the breath makes when you are breathing into your belly. and stop this. You might have experienced the mind said, no, I cannot do it, I'm exhausted. Or otherwise. Disclaimer that you should not have any other issues. We can still do it, but it demands a different way. Now focus again, keep it inside the forehead. That continues, Om Shanti continues, the body remains steady naturally. You will see that the body is steady by itself. You need not to do anything. And now we are breathing both from the belly and the chest together, long, deep in the hissing breath. <laughs> You expand your belly and the rib case during inhalation and you squeeze the belly and the rib case during exhalation with the noise. Why noise? Mind should remain conscious. Uh. 
Om Shanti continues. You succeed in keeping the body steady. The body doesn't swing except the belly and the chest. Remember, I'm reminding you. Why I'm reminding you? Sometimes we start moving, swinging the entire body. No. Swinging the entire body indicates the impurity of the mind. It may help you, no doubt. Continue, my friends, continue. And leave it. Do you see that when I say you to leave it, the mind brings the breath to its habitual pattern. Keep on watching the breath, keep on Om Shanti also. <clears throat> Otherwise what happen that your breath will become deeper it will become the belly breathing. We'll talk about that in the future session. Start breathing deep, silent and slow in that beautiful experience. Moving the mind as you inhale from the crown of the head and singing longer. The moment you say Shanti, you touch the tailbone while inhaling and while exhaling. Um, starts with the tailbone, Shanti ends with the crown of the head. It's a deep, silent, and slow breathing. Now you make the breath totally silent, rhythmic. <clears throat> what is you, know, you are inhaling into the belly and the chest together first always into the belly then into the rib case with the Om Shanti the mind is riding on the car that is the breath body of the car is the your is our body and when you're saying om shanti uh, you can pick up the knowledge om is the real self and shanti is the manifestation so we take care of all the five five layers five sheets And it is not difficult now for you to observe and experience a kind of separation from the physical body. That is why the physical body is totally still. I could see all of you have that level of stillness.
and the breath continues in its own journey, even though it does not pause any breath. In that state, we have the sense of purity. The mind lives within, deeper within, and leave that step also. Now go to the triangle. We have already understood the, in the cave of your heart, triangle, om shanti. Now you simply drop on each side. You're not taking the help with the breath. Breath in the body, you bypass it. These two layers. Om shanti, om shanti, om shanti. Clockwise and high clockwise, and then once you see the mind follows rhythmically, you look at the center of the triangle, you already know it, mm, is pushing the mind deeper inside. When you see the mind seems to be stopped still shanti and absorbed. You get conscious silence. Out of the silence reveals the knowledge of the real self. That is the goal of meditation. <clears throat> Any time, any time the mind forgets or mind invites a thought, you know you have to go back to the triangle, Om Shanti, and then
Shanti 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 Bring your mind on the right hand, your mind on the left hand. <clears throat> Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms. Know your experience. We will share our experiences now. Stephen, how are you? Uh, good. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, um, meditation, meditation just, just took, took me, me to a blank, blank um, incredibly, incredibly relaxed, relaxed place. place. Um, I, 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 I try to, to follow. follow you through, through it. it. Um, I, was, I was I was drawn, drawn someplace, someplace else, else um, within, within myself. myself. So so, so um, um, just, just want to try to comprehend, comprehend the sequence, sequence in which it took place. place. I, remember, I remember I remember the fast, fast breathing. breathing. <clears throat> I think I when we went to the belly breathing is where I, I had, had this battle, battle between being down here and listening and and following the instructions. But, but I just, I, just, I, was, I was an observer, observer of, everything. of everything. Good. And, and, and then, then all, all of a sudden, sudden it was as if there was this swoop of energy, energy that just came from my crown through and out my body, body that just left me with nothing. nothing. I, I was, was just in a space of blankness. Like, like I said, quiet. it was just quiet. quiet. It was relaxing. There were no thoughts. It's just great. Just great. Beautiful. It is extremely difficult to mentally say Om Shanti during the breathing and you are doing all the three types of the breathing which is totally that moves the mind in a different direction. So we want to weaken that impurity. So once we have a subtle perception of that, you will see there is an upsurge of energy. It is not out of the, because of the breathing, but it is because the mind has been weakened. We'll go deeper. And so, how are you, beautiful. How are you, David and Jerry? Sir, uh, thank, thank you. you. It was, it was uh, uh, you know, you know I don't, I don't know that, that I could describe, describe it because, because I don't, I don't, I don't have, have any thought or any knowledge. knowledge of it. Like, like I'm not, I wasn't, was there was just no awareness. It was just blank. blank. And, and it was very, very peaceful. peaceful. I remember, I remember kind of like Stephen after the, the, the fast, fast breathing. And then, and then I, think I think I heard you, but I can't remember until you started singing Om Shanti at the end. It was very, very deep. Very deep. Yeah. It's a total self absorption. That's beautiful. That's a good experience. True, 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 true peace, peace is the word that comes to mind. Nice. Beautiful. Very good. How are you? So very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, the meditation, meditation was, was great. great. I, 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 I um, really, really appreciate, I guess, this exercise, exercise with the Om Shanti and the breathing. And I remember back when, 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 I, I, when I, I felt like it was, you know, tapping and rubbing the belly and, and so much going on. on. And, and then, then finally, finally the, the mind, mind would, would quiet, quiet down. down. <laughs> now, now I don't, I don't notice that, that, that work, work anymore, anymore like that. that. Um, I, do, I do, however, however notice, notice when we get, get to the, the triangle, triangle, I am just the space, the, the, the just this empty, empty space, space, and it's, 
and and it's it's infinite infinite space space at that that point, point. which Which doesn't doesn't really really happen happen until until then. then. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And then, then, go go ahead. ahead. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Um, Um, And and just just applying um, day to day, I notice, especially with my nursing, I go back to being kind of having the mind trained to to communicate communicate a certain certain way, way, kind kind of like like pilots pilots too, too, right? right? We We can't can't have have a different way of doing it. it. There There really really is this one way of of, of being clear. clear. And And it's it's really really paramount paramount that that it's clear. clear. And And so so it it came came to me that that my mind doesn't wonder about the true self. It doesn't have to find it. It knows it. But sometimes in this transactional world, communication, communication isn't, isn't clear. clear. Okay. And, and, and that, that sometimes becomes a bit frustrating, but, but the mind just recognizes that this communication, communication that you're having with a peer or family or friend or, friend or, friend or it, it is not, not clear. clear. So, so the mind goes, goes oh, well, well how, how can I get it to be more clear and more kind and more loving and more, right? So anyways, that's, just, just something, something that's, that's come, come to, to me, me during, during the day. That's the right approach because if I'm not clear in my thought, speech, and action, and I recognize it, that is the greatest thing. Normally, we take it for granted. You know, I have said you this thing. No, no. So we are living our life consciously. First, we recognize that I'm not clear. The second point is that where the impurity is why I'm not clear. And then we become clear. But if we leave as it is, it goes on accumulating the impressions. And that is that is one of the best thing that you are doing. How are you, Terry? I will go to Terry first. Uh, I, I was aware of the work. Um, and uh, it, it is, is hard, hard to do, do the Om Shanti and, and the breathing at the same time. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was aware, aware of that, that work, work, so, um, and, and it, it's like, like an interplay, interplay between, between the, mo- the, the, the like, like moments where I was achieving, achieving it and, and moments, moments where there was, was an issue. issue. Like, like, oh, I'm, I'm not, not making, making, my breath, breath isn't making, making noise. Oh, oh now, now it's making, making noise and it's not, not supposed to make noise. noise. You know, <laughs> little, little thoughts, thoughts like, like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's all related, related to the, the work. work. That is contemplation. Then, That's good. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then uh, uh, um, and, and then, then it was just really fast and I felt like I needed more time to to, to achieve, achieve the, the yeah 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 it will take. do you see your hand gestures are perfectly normal yeah except these, in your these face, things, things are, are so, so itchy, itchy. That, they have wires, wires you know wires, wires. <laughs> up, up here, here and they're very right. anyway do that's you, a how are you uh brandy Morning. Morning. Good, thank, thank you. you. Uh, my, my meditation, meditation especially toward the end, is really peaceful. peaceful. And you and said you something, something, I'm not sure I've ever heard you say it like this, but, like this, but when you said, um, Shanti is the manifestation of the real self, my, my mind was like, wait, wait isn't Shanti, Shanti peace? And I was like, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, after all this time, it added up, and it was a nice, like, it just, you know, dropped in. You know, in a deeper state, mind picks up. Otherwise, intellectually, we already understand it. We know it. But uh, in during the meditation, the teacher says something, and you pick up and you get absorbed. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good point that you have. So who is left? Sam is there. Yeah, we have three people, four people here. Sam, how are you? Uh, uh, good. good. Uh, the breathing today gave me a very uh, refreshed feeling. Yeah. Refreshed and peaceful. 
peaceful. Yes, I made one point that breathing is one thing where we we start triggering the mind to remove the impurity. So removing the impurity is the goal. Is the goal that we should always remember during the this journey and peace definitely you went into the peace that is wonderful so Samir Sir, it was relaxing, but today my body was not means helping me. His body was disturbing me a lot. But uh, but I was able to enter into peace. But uh, body was still disturbing, and I was entering into peace. And body was disturbing. I was entering into peace. Peace means peace was not disturbed. Body was disturbed. <laughs> That's a good point. So another level of impurity is keeping the mind obsessed with the body and at the same time we can also experience that peace. So this is kind of a separation. This is what the discernment is there. So by regular practice that discernment will return. Understand that sometime it happens. We are upset with someone but at the same time we are able to control. It means the peace is inside, but outside there is a sense of disturbance. So, how are you, Ashok? Uh, uh, sir, <coughs> this is uh, very, very good, good and uh, peaceful, peaceful and very, very clear. Clear. Yeah. clear, very good. Yeah, yeah, there is a sign. So, how are you, Wave Hub? Uh, sir, I'm good. Uh, it's like the keeping my awareness on me. So whatever is coming, it's come by and goes away. Uh, my full awareness was me, and it was uh, like gradually it was making me calmer, and then I was in peace and restfulness. Beautiful, beautiful. So my friends, revise this couple of the lessons. Pick up that how the impurity and the restlessness of the mind causes the trouble in our personal, professional, and social life. That is all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.